Welcome to the next Q&A for Trauma Healing and Life Counseling. In this video I will answer question 53. Dear Gopal, I am deathly afraid of people and their potential judgments. It feels like a life threat, like I was a monster to their society and they would be better off killing me. I know it's due to the abuse from my narcissistic mother. Which kind of trauma therapy would you recommend for this? Thank you a lot. I would recommend NARM, the Neuro Effective Relational Model. It's the therapy that has been develop developed by Dr. Lawrence Heller for developmental and attachment trauma. Additionally, it's always helpful to do shock trauma work. That is, for example, somatic experiencing and TRE. TRE is Tension and Trauma Releasing Exercises from Dr. David Berselli. But the shock trauma work alone will not solve this problem. Because the problem is based on complex belief systems and projections within the relational context and shock trauma work focuses on discharging stress in the body. So it will not actualize the um, relational pattern. Therefore, you have to address developmental and attachment trauma and there are other methods which focus on that, but I know just NARM for that and I would recommend that. You're right, I'm deathly afraid of people and their potential judgments. So the first thing is, can you be killed by judgments of others? This is something you should really, really meditate over it and think about it. This is the message of your body due to real disastrous experiences in your childhood. But today you are grown up and the body still sends you this kind of stress and your mind projects what you have experienced in your childhood. But the question is, is this still a reality or is your body lying to you? What I say is that your body is lying to you. It's just a lie. It's nonsense. You cannot be killed by the judgments of others. It is impossible. Really think about that. This is, this is important because your whole body gives you some other information and it feels true because it was true in the childhood but that feeling you describe with this sentence is nonsense it is wrong it is false it is a lie your body is lying to you again think about it how could you be killed by the judgments of others of course what's happening what you project is a state in your body that has been very dangerous in your childhood because your body had not the capacity and the resources to deal with it. And that is what you project on the setting of being judged. But this today as a grown-up is just a difficult and painful experience and state, not a real danger. And this, is, this has to be separated. Yeah? The body state the reality on the outside has to be separated because there is no connection anymore. The physical body believes in danger and life threat, but the judgment on the outside, the reality, does not fit to this body state. Yeah? This body state makes sense in a real danger. For example, if you are in a house that is burning or if you are chased, by a murder, stuff like that. Yeah, But what you describe, judging, makes no sense. The body state doesn't make sense in the setting of being judged. If you are being judged by thousands of people, nothing will happen. Just nothing. Think about it. This is important. To decouple this connection, yeah, which is not based on reality anymore. And this is what the suffering is actually um, driving. 
the suffering is actually created by this difference between physical states of the autonomous system and the reality outside. If this, these both do not fit together, then we suffer. Okay, you're right. It feels like a life threat. So it should be clear now that it's not a life threat. It is not a life threat. It is not even a danger. It is nothing. That's the reality. Although for you it feels different. Yeah, but but it's just a feeling. And again, look what's the feeling and what's the reality. Yeah, there is a difference. And you're right. Like I was a monster to their society and they would be better off killing me. That was your childhood. Yeah. Obviously, you have been a burden to your environment and this environment um, refused you. And this is what you st still project on the people today. And it's just an illusion. It's a complete illusion. But you find out if it's true or an illusion only if you really get in contact with the people. And for example, you could ask them, do you have anything against me? Do you judge me? Do you hate me? Do you want that I leave? Just ask people that. That you get input from reality. Otherwise you live in this dream world. You're right. I know it's due to the abuse from my narcissistic mother. Well, all this is not relevant. It's It doesn't matter what the cause is, how it was for you in the childhood. The understanding of all this is not relevant. You, you should stay away from that. Stay away from the past. It's just a play for the mind yeah, to rationalize all that. It's not about the past. It's, it's about the presence right now, how you create distance to other people. And how you create distance is you project danger, which is actually not a danger, but from your point of view, it's danger. You project danger by being judged. Yeah, this is how you create distance to other people because you don't share your protection. If you start sharing, well, I, I think you you constantly judge me, you think that I'm wrong, and etc. Then you would get in contact and your protection and your suffering would be dissolved. So this is the principle uh, to transform this. Really, it is basically very simple. The procedure to dissolve that is really, really simple. Just realize that if you start sharing what's inside of you with the one that lives closest to you, and that means, as I said already, sharing your thoughts about the other, your projections, that will bring you in contact with the reality and that will dissolve the suffering. This is all that has to be done. And if you are not able to do this, this alone because it's too scary, it feels too... Um, unsafe for you then yes please do it with it within a trauma therapy I, I just say that the principle is simple to dissolve that it's just bringing in contact what you try to hide from other people since your childhood and again this is what you write to me so your uh, question is the starting point for getting in contact yeah you, you're telling me your protections and that's that is the the begin of the transformation just continue with that and it will feel like going through a death but it's not a death it's the death of your ego and if your ego is dead if it is transformed then the life starts right now it's just survival it is not yet life life begins after you have shared all your protections and have received information and imprints from reality and that means from other people as they are today.